If you're watching this video on the day it was posted, then today is March 13th, which means tomorrow is March 14th, also known as 314, also known as Pi Day. If you don't know what Pi Day is, I don't blame you, but it's basically just a day where math and science nerds get to celebrate Pi, which is approximated as 3.14. But Pi Day has also become pretty significant for the Raspberry Pi community. A lot of times Raspberry Pi will release a new type of board or some new feature or something on Pi Day. And a lot of people in the Raspberry Pi community take this day as an excuse to work on some new project or do some sort of charity effort or something like that. And anyone who's watched this channel for a while knows that I love Raspberry Pi and have done several projects with them in different videos. So I thought this was a good excuse to make another video doing something with a Raspberry Pi for Pi Day. I spent a lot of time looking into different kind of projects I could do, and I eventually decided on a project using a Raspberry Pi Zero W and something called a Pone Pi Aloha. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but it's spelled P4WNP1. I think it's either Pone or Pawn, depending on how you want to pronounce the four. And ALOA stands for a little offensive appliance. And this project will turn your Raspberry Pi Zero W into a bad USB. But this one actually uses the wireless functionality that comes with the Zero W. And it hosts a web interface that lets you actually interact and change the script that is used on the fly. So the first thing we need to do to get started is just download the image. So if we go up here and click on releases, the most recent release is this version 0.1.1-beta. Once we have our image downloaded, we're going to open our Raspberry Pi imager. And this imager has several different versions of Raspberry Pi OS and other different kinds of OSs that are already built in and lets you directly install them. And if you look under other specific purpose OS and look under Kali Linux, you will see that there is a version of the PwnPi Aloha that is available in the imager itself. But in my experience, the version that you download directly from GitHub just works a lot easier and I would recommend using that route instead. But if anyone wants to try using the one in the imager itself go for it try it out see if it works for you but because we're using an image that we downloaded we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click use custom and we're going to select that image that we just downloaded now for the storage device you're going to need a micro sd card and a micro sd card reader and once you plug that into your pc you should see it pop up here in this menu one important note here is if you do see multiple devices listed here, make sure you select the right one because whatever SD card you select here is going to be erased during this process. And once we have both the image and the storage device selected, we're going to click right. Once that process is complete, you can unplug your micro SD card and then you can plug it into your Raspberry Pi Zero W. And now we're ready to plug it into a PC and try to play with it and see what it does. So as it says here in the instructions, the easiest way to access a fresh PwnPi Aloha installation is to use the web client via the spawned Wi-Fi. So to demo this, I'm going to use my desktop PC as the victim machine that I'm gonna plug it into. And then I'm actually gonna access the control panel with my phone. One important thing to note before you plug it in is that you'll see that there are two micro USB ports on your Raspberry Pi Zero W. I don't know if you can read that, but the top one says power and the bottom one says USB. We want to plug it in to the USB port because if we plug it into power, that will power up your Raspberry Pi Zero, but it won't actually be able to interact with your PC because it's not going over that USB port. And fortunately, over the USB port, it will also power up the Raspberry Pi. So I just plugged it in and you might be able to see that the green light in the bottom right hand corner is blinking. So that means that it should be getting power and start to do some work. Now that I've got my PwnPi plugged into my PC, I'm going to try to connect to it with my phone. So if I open up my Wi-Fi settings, I can see there's a new network that has shown up and it's got explosions and a picture of a computer and it says PwnPi. So I'm going to select that network. And as it says right here in the instructions, the password for the Wi-Fi network is mami 82 pwnpi And once I connect to that network, I'm going to go to this IP address in the web browser, http colon slash slash 172.24.0.1 port 8000. And once I go to that address in the web browser on my phone, I now see this little menu with all kinds of different options. So to test if this is working or not, we're going to scroll over to the HID script, and then I'm going to click load and replace. 
And then it has a bunch of little options of test scripts that are already loaded. And I'm going to select HID test one. And if you want to scroll down, you can read through all of this script and see what it does. And it's pretty well commented to let you know what it's doing the whole way through. But if we just want to run a test to make sure it's working, I'm going to open up a blank notepad document on my PC and we're just going to press run and see what it does. Now I'm going to hit run and it's typing for me. My hands are not on the keyboard. So you can do all kinds of stuff like that where you basically use your Raspberry Pi Zero as a keyboard and you can inject keystrokes to make it type whatever you want it to type. The most popular version of this kind of tool is known as a rubber ducky, which is from Hack5. And I have a video a while back where I made a DIY rubber ducky out of a Raspberry Pi Pico. But the cool thing about this one is you can edit your script on the fly. So I've already plugged in my Raspberry Pi Zero into what is essentially my victim machine which in this case is just my desktop PC. But after it's already been plugged in, then I can edit the script that I want it to run and change what keystrokes I want it to inject. If we want to try another one, we can click load and replace again and then click mouse jiggle. And this could be useful if the computer has a screensaver or the screen locks after a certain amount of inactivity. You see this a lot in like physical pen tests and red teaming exercises and things like that, where you might like wait for someone to step away from their PC and then you plug in this and the first thing you want to do is turn on a mouse jiggler to keep the screen open because you don't know their password. You just happen to get their PC while it was unlocked. You can probably barely see it, but if you zoom in and look really close, you'll see that my mouse just barely moves a few pixels every now and then. But that would be just enough to keep your screensaver from locking your PC and requiring another password to unlock it. Also, one thing that I didn't really go over because I feel like just watching someone write code is really boring, but you can add your very own custom HID script in there. That little editor that you saw on the panel, you can click in there and delete that code that's already there and replace it with your own to do any sort of HID scripting you want it to do. And just one more thing, I feel like it should go without saying that you should not use this to commit crimes or do anything bad to people that you don't have permission to do this with but it can be a really cool little gadget to do fun and funny little pranks with your friends or your family members or if you are working in the cybersecurity industry as a red teamer or a pen tester or anything like that this can be a really cool little tool to add to your toolkit with very cheap hardware and free software anyway i hope everyone has a good pie day and i hope you fill it with all kinds of nerdy math and science stuff and maybe we'll get something cool from the raspberry pi foundation this year who knows?